Welcome to Invest Insights. I'm Abby Malone. I'm joined today by Andrew Carnes, the Vice President for Economic Development of Partnership Gwinnett, a public-private initiative dedicated to bringing new jobs and capital to Gwinnett County, Georgia. He joins us for our discussion on the COVID-19 pandemic. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more insights like these. Andrew, let's start off first by, can you tell our viewers more about the scope of Partnership Gwinnett? Yes, yes, Abby, and I want to first thank you uh, for, for having me on and, and talking a little bit about our story and, and that sort of thing, but Partnership Gwinnett, so we're the economic marketing arm for Gwinnett County as well as all 16 cities in Gwinnett, um, and so uh, it's a public-private partnership that, that we wake up every single day to recruit, retain, and expand businesses within our five targeted industries. Um, and so just to give a little overview of Gwinnett, we, got, we have a, uh, roughly about a million people. We have a, roughly 600 international-based companies, but also we have 16 cities, as I mentioned a second ago. Uh, and the most unique part about, uh, about Gwinnett is uh, our diversity index is 80%. And so we are the most diverse county within the Southeast United States. Uh, and so obviously this pandemic has, um, has is something that we need to, or that we, we've talked about across the globe, not necessarily focused just on Gwinnett County, but, but we have had, and, and we've been talking about this since, since January, uh, even whenever our partners um, across seas were, were hit fairly hard. So, uh, but once again, thanks for having me on. And taking into consideration that uh, international scope that Gwinnett County has, what have you noticed as the uh, overall economic impact from COVID-19 on Gwinnett County? Yeah, of course. So, so uh, a couple of things kind of initially come to mind is, is obviously the retail sectors and that sort of thing hits fair, uh, fairly hard. Um, but now that we are opening back up the doors, uh, there are people getting back to work, which is, which is great news for us. Uh, but in regards to our five targeted industries that we deal with, two of those targeted industries are uh, manufacturing and supply chain. And, and I will say that um, our manufacturers and our private sector in general is extremely, extremely flexible. Um, I mean, we've had, we have companies like YSS and, and Beaver Paper that not necessarily made masks uh, at the very beginning, uh, but they did have uh, a bunch of sew operations whenever they're making uniforms and, and that sort of thing. And they have completely transitioned to making sure that our hospitals here in the, the Atlanta metro area have the mask and, and the, 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 uh, uh, the, the, the PPE stuff that they need within our hospitals. And so we're, we're trying to make sure that, that we are staying ahead of the curve, but, but also making sure that our first responders have the, the tools and the resources that they need to do their job. Where have you observed the greatest challenges uh, within Gwinnett County and what are maybe some of the resources or tools that you're offering to help mitigate those challenges? Yeah, good, good question. So a couple of the challenges uh, that, that we have seen uh, over the past couple of months is, is obviously uh, unemployment rate. Um, the new unemployment rate is going to be coming out Friday. And so we're going to see a spike in that as, as, uh, as we follow the national average. And we saw that spike in the national average. Uh, about a week ago, whenever the new numbers came out, and we, and we anticipate seeing kind of the exact same thing with the unemployment claims and and that sort of thing. And so, the um, really the the biggest challenges that we're having is making sure that we're linking the um, the companies that have jobs available to these individuals that uh, that are currently looking for jobs. And so. Uh, so we've established a, a job board. Um, it, it's not groundbreaking by no means, but it, it's going back to the nuts and the bolts of what we did in 2000 and, uh, 2008 and 2009, whenever we saw the dip in the economy. And so going back to really the basics and, and looking at that, but also uh, communicating um, to our, our companies, our 35,000 businesses that we do have in Gwinnett, making sure that they understand the ins and the outs of what an essential business is and really, if, if they're not considered essential, how they can retool and restructure to, to benefit the community and the region as a whole. And so those are a couple of the big nuggets that, that initially kind of come to mind. Have you been receiving enough state support? Yes, yes. Uh, so we, we receive uh, support from our uh, state partners, the Georgia Department of Economic Development, uh, our, the Metro Atlanta Chamber, which is the, the regional partner, but also our utilities, all the way from the EMCs, the Georgia EMCs to the Georgia Powers, um, ECGs, and et cetera. And so, um, and I know that's um, the alphabet soup, I guess you could say, but, but locally, um, yes, I mean, we're all in this together. We have established a, um, a economic development coalition, um, and, it's, and it's a group of economic developers around Gwinnett, but also we've established a 
a, a regional marketing alliance that, that dates back uh, really seven, eight years ago. And, and, and all the economic developers from around the Atlanta region has come together to have really one voice and, and talk a little bit about what we can do as we're conveying these messages to our companies around the entire region. And on behalf of that regional coalition, what are the important messaging efforts that you are uh, implementing right now? So uh, domestic companies, international companies, um, our existing industry is, is really key to the success of Gwinnett County, but also uh, counties from around the region. And so making sure we take it first and foremost, getting back to the basics, as I mentioned, uh, taking care of our existing industry, making sure that we have a, a uh, we call it a, le a loop communication, making sure that we're communicating through all dis uh, different business sectors and making sure that we are communicating uh, the different I mean, something as little as the PPP out there that everybody knows about already and has become experts really frankly overnight on is making sure that we're communicating to those individuals. But also uh, one of the things that we did is we, um, uh, the, the very first uh, week that, that all this came out and we had a, a stay at home order, we established a 24 seven call center. Uh, receiving calls one, one thirty, two o'clock in the morning from our international partners, I remember we received one call from uh, a CEO in Germany um, and, and, and we were talking about what we need to do to making sure that he and his business continue to stay up and running. But like I said, it's just making sure that we have that continuous loop um, and making sure that we have our resource page updated and that kind of stuff. And so there's a number of different outlets out there. So in regards to the Marketing Regional Alliance, um, lean on your economic developers, lean on your chamber. Uh, to making sure that you are receiving the information, the most up-to-date information out there. I, I think that's the biggest part is continue to stay up-to-date because frankly, this is changing hour by hour, day by day. As uh, Georgia uh, continues its reopening phase, what are the uh, concerns that you're trying to address uh, specifically in Gwinnett uh, County and to safeguard not only the safety of the uh, community, but ensure economic uh, activity to help bring us out of this huge economic uh, hit that we've seen. Yeah, so um, so in, in regards to, to companies, uh, we, we a lot of our companies, and, and just being honest about it, is is a lot of our manufacturer supply chain companies, uh, frankly, have not shut down, um, they, and, and they they have they have gone to a minimal staff um, to stay up and running and to making sure that they are continuing to provide the the, the service or the product uh, to the end user and, and that sort of thing. In regards to our office aspect of it and our professional services, um, you know, I, I received a, a call from, from one of our CEOs here and he said, um, you know, he, he needs two days to flip 600 employees completely virtual. Um, and, so, and so just making sure that those, these smart CEOs and C-suite individuals has the tools and the resources is, is key. Uh, I, uh, we have established a, uh, a policy and procedure in, in regards to our back to work plan. Uh, we have um, sent that out to a number of our companies and, and as an example, and as, as an example only, um, and, and we've seen a couple of companies uh, that have not thought about some of the things that, that we have thought about. And, and I'll give an example is, you know, whenever you're signing in, because I think everybody is, is signing in as we come in, just in case something were to happen, than having two different uh, pen cups for, for used and for new. Something as little as that that you really don't think about. And so making sure that we're giving our best policies and procedures out to our companies in hopes that they might think through uh, their daily process in hopes that it, for them to implement and think through every single part of their operation. And should our viewers want to find out more information about Partnership Gwinnett, where would you guide them? Yeah, I, I would definitely guide them to our website, partnershipgwinnett.com. Um, and, and also our social media channels. I, I think we are, I say, I think we're, we're, on, we're on Facebook, Instagram, and a number of the, the social media channels out there, or you can reach out to me directly. I'll give you my cell phone number. I, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but I'll give you my cell phone number, which is 706-483-3087. If you have any questions, thoughts, feelings, or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out. Well, that's really wonderful. I hope that you see a lot of fruitful communication. Great, thank you very much. Well, thank you again. That was Andrew Carnes, the Vice President for Economic Development for Partnership Gwinnett. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to watch more insights like these. My name is Abby Maloney, and you've been watching Invest Insights.